Hi, I'm Nancy Friedman, the telephone doctor. We wanted to do this video outside by the pool with the greenery, but there's this freaking bird that wouldn't stop singing. And normally I love to hear the bird sounds, but it competed with my husband's videography. So we're inside again. Happy whatever day it is and happy summer. I hope you're having a wonderful one. Most of you know us for customer service. Yeah, telephone doctor, customer service training, service skills, the whole, the whole lineup of, of all the series are much about that. But there's an area if you peek and take the lid up that many of you may not know we're very good at and that's communication skills communicating and i have two items to share with you that i personally experienced as it does happen i know you'll understand them but i don't i don't understand them i, I just don't understand the the poor communications that is out there so let me tell you about the first one the first one was a text message that i sent um, and normally i got very good response and it was, a, you know, if you do a text, any message too long gets lost in the shuffle. So I, I normally try to really keep mine short and to the point. And it went to a realtor and I just said, have you had any response from the recent rental request? Thanks, Nancy. Bingo. It's over a week and a half or two weeks and I've heard nothing. Did she get it? You know, sometimes it says delivered, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm not going to worry about that. There hasn't been a a text that she didn't acknowledge. So I know if I call her, I might get, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Or yes, I did, Nancy, don't worry about it. But the communication what was is what was frustrating. The other was on voicemail, all right? Dick was trying to reach a, some banker that we were gonna change insurance on. I know you don't, that's too much information, but I give you a little background. So we have left three to four voicemails for the guy and a couple emails, nada, nothing. I did confirm the bank that the gentleman still works there. Maybe she didn't know and maybe he's not there. But three emails, or three voicemails and an email, nada, nothing. Communications, getting back to people, and I don't like one word answers, but they'll do if you just get back to somebody on communicating with you, communicating with you. I'll hear about that one. So bottom line, when somebody texts you, emails you, voicemails you, uh, what other way is there, telephone, whatever, and needs an answer, communicate back. I'm Nancy Friedman, The Telephone Doctor. Thank you for watching.